All right, we finally got to wave 46. That means we're already at level cap with this weapon. Uh, it was probably the most challenging, uh, challenging. Don't even know how to call it. I will. This is already a challenge, so I don't know. Challenging challenge. That doesn't seem very, very right. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to to complete this wave. I'm just. Uh, I mean, I have killed the level cap, but to be honest, this run is just a big compilation of everything uh, working out right. There's even a bugged uh, <laughs> demolisher there. Alright, we might just lose this. Because it has to be like very, very precise. Uh, you can't really fail and all that stuff. This one is not gonna be that hard. I think. Oh shit, yeah. I'm dead. 100%. Fucking kill me. Just doesn't. It doesn't fit chasing me. Oh yeah. Alright. Um, <clears throat> I'm still very sick. And. Yeah. I've been on this for a couple hours, probably like five five hours on this. Uh, the Zenith has enough like raw damage. Of course, we're using as much stuff as we can to bump up that damage. <clears throat> At first, I tried going with a. Hunter Munitions build, as you guys probably saw in the last video, which was the fail one. But, uh, that didn't work out very well. I've tried a few variations. Uh, there's gonna be quite a lot of things. Uh, I still have to, to see if I'm gonna leave it on the main channel, or that's gonna be for the second channel. It's more like stuff in between the these runs. Um, I got like 2 to wave 10 and then I got um, 1 to 30 something trying to get the level cap. Uh, once we remove the armor we're, we can kill pretty much everything. Uh, Eximus are gonna take a while. But other than that everything is uh, pretty much killable. That's, uh, but yeah, Eximus are uh, a fucking BS. All of these effects. Talking about Eximus, this run would not, would, would just, wouldn't be possible without the Vasca Cavet. This cat has saved me so many times. I think the cat probably saved me like six times. Something like that. The cat is like super super good right now I'm gonna make a video talking only about the cat because this cat is he's much better now since he got that um what is it called last grasp second wind something like that yeah it's a it's like the cat is like really really good now because of that you already was good but now it's even better yeah Searching for the demos, not around here. Uh, might be dead. Oh, he's here. quiet cuz I'm a little focused yeah uh, for let me think uh, a lot of not a lot of, like three or four 
not even that, maybe two maximum of three uh, energy drains. I've only really kited the demolishers uh, as I need power on this build to strip the armor. I was not able to remove their armor and kill them. And yeah. That happens. Uh, it was uh, one of the ways that I found to actually complete it. But, uh, it's not. It's not like the best thing. I like to kill everything and you know, do it all. Make it all like as perfect as possible. But uh, it's not every time that you can do that. You gotta. You gotta use what you have available and stuff. Now malice is gonna show up to fuck things up. As he usually does. Okay, this demolisher is usually the easy one. He doesn't really dispel the stuff. Alright, so we just need to kill the Nox now? Yeah, that's probably it. But yeah, this challenge, uh, I said I was gonna do it, and it feels really good to be here now. But the pretty much the the whole run could be could be ended, could be done by like any wave, and I was kind of getting really nervous actually <clears throat> that I would like lose the run on wave 40 and above. Because getting a health drain on, on like, health drain is not that much, but energy drain on the first conduit, it really sucks. And it actually happened twice after wave 40, so yeah, I was like, oh my god. But everything worked out pretty well. Uh, <clears throat> I wish I had more mod capacity <laughs> to be able to fit everything to the build. If we had the uh, smoke screen on the this one, it would be would be pretty much better. And that clown is still there. His full health. Shit. Yeah. I don't even know if I have. Yeah. I don't have a lot of the buffs. Let's try to get them. We're actually bad on buffs right now. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to kill you this fast. This one is here. Let's see if we can do it now. Yeah, that's uh, one of the problems with this weapon. Is that you... You need to have the... Always remember having the... Semi on to kill, and there we go. Level cap wave done. Whoo! I'm so happy to be honest. So happy this this one ended. Made it. Nice. I'm not really lucky with Riven Silvers. I only get like only few every run. And I spend quite a lot of time into these these shits. Like I should have more, I think. But it's alright. Let's take a look on the build. Oh. Booster. Nice. Alrighty. This is not the usual. I usually run this one. I still have to put the mods back in as I put another forma, but this time we're using this one. Slightly different, uh, but yeah, it works. It worked. For the Zenith, I completely dropped Hunter Munitions and went for uh, pretty much raw damage, because that's the stuff, it's raw. Viral damage, that's what the Grenier are gonna take the more damage off. 
it's uh, the Riven I've rolled again. Toxin, damage to Grenier, pretty okay. Wouldn't say it's overpowered. Regular Epitaph, nothing too crazy going on. The Glaive Prime, I've only changed uh, Healing Return. This is u the usual build. But today I went with Healing Return just so we c could survive the life drain. Yeah. Uh, it worked pretty well. Pretty, pretty well. Helped a lot. And the star of the show, the Vasca Cavat. This dude is just so good. The thing about the thing about its last grasp, how is it called? Let me just check. Oh, uh, last gasp, yeah. The thing about last gasp is that your cat has a one minute and a half or ninety seconds cooldown on his revive. And, but he needs to be alive to revive you. The thing is, if you, if you have last gasp, and you go down, you can enter your operator mode and heal your cat. Revive your cat, and then he will revive you. That's pretty neat. Yeah, pretty good. Pack leader, hunter recovery. Try to get some heals going, but not much luck. Tech assault is really important need this one uh simp deconstruct because of the reload on when holstering and that is that's something that's really darn good with the zenith because if you don't have this you're gonna be reloading a lot and every time you reload you're gonna have to use your act or activate your secondary fire again and that is Pretty annoying. That is terrible. Other than that, I had some specters. I used Prote Specter, Wisp Specter. At some point, I used Seren Specter, but it didn't 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 do much. Like it was pretty crap. But Wisp and Prote Specter were super helpful. That was the run. Let me know what you think about the Zenith and the run. Do you use, use this weapon outside of the Profit Taker? Yeah. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be using this thing again uh, outside of the Profit Taker. But yeah, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!